Hello, sports fans and baseball fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I am here with a look at my Elmwood League 20-man roster going into the draft. This is my current team as we head into the draft in February, I believe, is when uh, we will be doing our draft. And so I'm going to uh, detail who I will be keeping and bringing back. And, um, the, uh, and you can see I've got the free agent years that are next to them. I'll explain some of those as we go along. Uh, but you can see, um, and I will hit some highlights, um, some of the highlighted players, like, for instance, Jose Altuve. And uh, really, if you see up there in the top, with the in the blue section, Jose Altuve, Bryce Harper, and then Jordan Lyles. <laughs> As they said on Sesame Street, one of these guys is doing his own thing. One of these guys just doesn't belong. And <laughs> unfortunately, I am keeping Jordan Lyles. Now, I'm keeping Lyles because he was a full-year starting pitcher. And he had a 127 whip or a 128 whip, which for a starting pitcher is pretty good. Now, he's going to give up a lot of extra base hits and a lot of home runs. That just comes with the, you know, that comes with the deal. But, uh, Jose Altuve and Bryce Harper, they're the real deal. And as you can see, these guys are Fran, listed as Fran. What that means is that they are franchise players. What that means is that I had to, um... You have to reserve these guys uh, to keep them because their their free agent years had expired. Jordan Lyles uh, last year was his last eligible year before becoming a franchise player. And you are only allowed three of them. So that's why it's you know important. You don't have an unlimited number of franchise guys. You can't have a 20-man roster of franchise guys. You can only get three. So uh, that's why that was important. Um, and then uh, Bryce Harper and Altuve are the other two. Now, as you can see, um, after that, I won't have another franchise player, um, you know, coming that would have to join that group and who I would have to knock somebody out until 2026. So until 2026, I can keep those same three guys. Now, Lyles, we'll see what happens with him, um, whether he catches on with somebody else or stays in Kansas City or whatever happens, and whether he has a little better year, which uh, you know we can hope he does. Then you see we've got Justin Verlander. Now, why he's a 2020 or a 2033 guy is because every person that we draft Every person that anyone drafts in the first round of our draft is a 10-year contract. So you have the guy for 10 years. Everybody else after the first round that's picked after the first round is only a 5-year contract. So I took Verlander last year in the first round, even though he's, you know, 42 years old, whatever he is. Um, and so I have him under contract until 2033, which he will not pitch till. He may pitch another year or maybe two, um, but um, so I've got him. And then you see we've got Tyler Anderson, again, another starting pitcher who will be a full-year eligible pitcher but was terrible last year for whatever reason because the two or three previous seasons he had been very good. And that's why I'm keeping him because he won't be a free agent till 2026 and prior to last year, he was good for like three or four years in a row. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to hope he has a bounce back year. Taylor Ward, he got injured late in the season, but he had pretty good statistics, so I'm keeping him. Michael A. Taylor will be a center field one, gold glover. Definitely keeping him, plus he had 20 home runs. J.D. Martinez I traded for. I traded with the... Uh, the Bobtown team to get um, J.D. Martinez. And um, then we've got Ryan Presley in the bullpen. Ryan Yarbrough, who will be in the bullpen for me. 
Jacques Peterson, who I traded with Adams to get, has a little bit of pop, so he'll be a good addition. Tim Miza will be in the bullpen. Kyle Hendrick will be in my starting rotation. He'll only be eligible to pitch 170 innings uh, because he didn't hit 140. The rule in our league is, if you, as a starting pitcher, if you pitch 140 or more innings, you're basically unlimited. If you pitch between 100 and 139 innings, you uh, can only pitch 170. So that's he'll be uh, limited to that. Uh, then you got uh, Joe Jimenez in the bullpen. Jason Adam will be in my bullpen. Luis Castillo, very good starting pitcher, will be in the rotation. Mark Kana will probably... Right now, I would pencil him in as the third baseman, but he's terrible at third. Defensively, he's a mess at third. He'd be a third base five. But I would pencil him in there, um, and then if I draft somebody better in the draft, you know, we'll see. Uh, Elvis Andrus would be the shortstop right now, but that's, you know, pending what, whether I can get a better shortstop or not. Uh, Elias Diaz and then uh, Ryan Jeffers are two catchers that I will have. And, um, you know, you generally want to have three in this league because if one catcher gets injured, then you're down to just one catcher. Um, and so you need another guy that you could bring up that would be a backup. Now, the problem I'm going to have is this 20-man roster looks pretty good, I guess. I mean, you know, leave it in the comments if you think I'm wrong about that. But... The problem is I don't pick until the third round. So I won't even have a pick until round three. And that's probably going to be a like um, middle to lower part of the third round. So, you know, things aren't really as, as rosy as they might seem. My win-loss record will be driven mainly by these 20 guys. So that's what the problem is. Um, if you look at this team in a vacuum, it's a very good team. Or, you know, whatever, a good start at a, It's a really great start at a good team. But when you compare it to some of the other guys and other teams, that, you know, the guys, you know, guys that they have on their team, it, it does, it's not really that great. So we're going to have to see what happens with it, but I just wanted to let you uh, take a look at the roster and get some opinions on what you think I'm in for. Now, of course, as soon as the season starts, I can trade picks for next year. Like, I can trade my first round pick in 2025 as soon as the season starts, but I have to wait until then. I can't trade it right now. Um, and in fact, I did that last year. Last year, I traded for Bryce Harper right after the season started. I traded my first round pick um, in this draft coming up for Bryce Harper because I needed some more pop. Now, I could do that again, but I think what my strategy is going to be is keep these 20 guys, go into the draft and draft whatever I can draft, you know, the best that I can do with the picks that I have. And then I'm going to start the season and probably go at least 30 or 40 games into the season and see how I'm doing. And then try to judge whether I might be able to make the playoffs or not. And if not, then, you know, maybe trade some of these guys off. Like, you know, trade off Verlander and trade off uh, Bryce Harper and trade off El Tuve. Now, of course, the the problem with trading Harper and El Tuve is anybody that trades for them to keep them beyond next year, again, they would have to reserve them as one of three guys. And if you already have three of these guys, like most teams will, you probably don't have room for El Tuve or Harper. So uh, we'll have to see how that works. But Verlander, yeah. Verlander I could trade because anybody that gets him can, can keep him until he retires. And um, if you've got a contending team that is just missing a Verlander, I could get some a nice return on him. Um, maybe some other guys. J.D. Martinez has should have a very good card. Um, it's questionable what he would be worth going forward because he's getting older. 
But if you're a guy that, um, you know, all you need is a little bit more pop in your lineup, J.D. Martinez might just be the ticket. Um, so we'll see. After that, probably not a lot. You know, and maybe some relief pitching if somebody needs a reliever, a really good reliever. I have a few of those. Um, but like a Kyle Hendrick, I'll probably hold on to because I've got him under contract till 2027. And, uh, you know, and he's pretty, he's a pretty good starting pitcher. Uh, so, you know, there's some guys on here. It's questionable whether I could trade them, whether anybody would want them, you know, whatever. But we'll see. So I'm going to, I'm going to play it by ear. I'm going to do the best I can in the draft and then see what kind of uh, win loss record I can start off with in the first 30 or 40 games. And then we'll go from there. But, uh, yeah, I'd love to hear people's opinions and what you think I can do with this roster. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.